Now, live CBS 3 Eyewitness News at 6. Hot temperatures all day, firing up severe storms in the area. Mega Doppler 3 is tracking wild weather that could be coming to your neighborhood. Good evening, I'm Larry Menti. And I'm Alicia Lane. Some areas have already been hit, others are in the line of fire. Here's proof of just how hot it was today. Chopper 3 over the Dover International Speedway in Delaware, where the heat caused the concrete on the racetrack to buckle. Let's get right to meteorologist Paul Deanna with the stormy forecast right now. Paul. Alicia, 96 degrees for the third consecutive day. A cold front moving in, all adding up to a good chance of thunderstorms. A line of severe weather all the way from the Jersey Shore down to Salem County. Two warnings which are set to expire right about now. They were in Burlington County and Salem County. The yellow is off, which means the warnings have expired. But a lot of severe weather continues. Strong to severe thunderstorms in South Jersey. One hour time lapse now. Look at all of this lightning stretching from Toms River through Burlington County, Camden County, Gloucester. County right through Williamstown and Glassboro all the way down to Salem County. Let's see what's happening right now. We're going to zoom down on the radar, show you what's happening as we speak. Hamilton right along the Atlantic City Expressway by that Hamilton exit. We're picking up some rainfall right now. If you're watching us in Williamstown, some very heavy rainfall, lots of lightning, some small hail reported about one half hour ago and some trees down in that area. And down toward Bridgeton, this thunderstorm just firing up in northwestern Cumberland County and southern Salem County. Exclusive hail tracker three looking to see if there's any area where we could see some hail. If you saw some green here, or the very darkest shades of blue, penny size hail is possible. We don't see it yet with this storm, but we do see a lot of thunder, hear a lot of thunder, and see a lot of lightning happening right now in extreme southern New Jersey. This is moving along with a cold front, and that cold front is going to give us a pretty darn nice weekend. We'll have that coming up in a few minutes. Larry? All right, we invite you to stay with CBS 3, Paul, for continuing coverage of the excessive heat. We're tracking the storms moving through, and Paul will have your full forecast coming up. The Eagles have not played their first preseason game, and the injury bug has already claimed a starter. Wide receiver Todd Pinkston is out for the season. Beasley Reese joins us from Eagles training camp with more. Beasley, this hurts. Yeah, it really does, Larry. Um, he was third on the team in uh, receptions behind Westbrook and T.O., and he only caught 36 passes, but, uh, you know, to the untrained eye, that's not major production, but he was the speed guy, the guy that backed up the defense and allowed T.O. and Westbrook to break underneath. So Todd Pinkston with an Achilles heel rupture is a major, major story from this camp. He is done for the season. This is a six-month rehabilitation, so uh, we lose the speed threat, the deep threat on this team. So who steps up? Greg Lewis uh, proved that he can do it. The rookie Reggie Brown will have to learn very quickly. Uh, Billy McMullen is in his third year. It took Freddie Mitchell about three years to learn this offense, so Billy needs to step up. Uh, he should be ready now to really make a major contribution to this football team. So once again, the big news, number 87 is done for the year, and they will have to try to find a way to replace that production. Beasley, we all, of course, wish Todd Pinkston the best, but in these days, everything comes back to T.O. Mm -hmm. Does this help his negotiating position? Well, you know, knowing his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, will probably look at this as uh, more leverage for T.O., but I think the Eagles have proven that they are going to stand pat on their uh, position not to renegotiate contracts, although this will probably uh, spark an attempt by T.O.'s uh, representation just to see what the Eagles are thinking when it comes to more money. All right, Beasley Reese at training camp. We'll see you in just a few minutes in sports. Alicia? Okay. A shocking discovery on the shelves of a local store, vials of blood that may have been there for a while. Leslie Van Arsdal is live in Pottstown, Montgomery County, with more on this bizarre find. Hi, Leslie. Hi there, Alicia. And it is indeed a very bizarre story. An employee here finding not one, but several vials of blood on a store shelf here. And possibly even more bizarre, the story of how they may have got there. Pottstown police say yesterday afternoon a store employee found nine vials of blood like these on a shelf here at the Dollar General store in the 1400 block of East High Street. It appears the blood could have been placed there following an incident at the store last week, which according to sources, a man ran in dressed in a hospital gown, a port that could be used to draw blood still in his arm. He proceeded to change into his clothing before taking off. But at this point, police say the matter is still under investigation. Unfortunately, we, we've got to a point where we have to wait for some information. I think we have every reason to believe we know who put it there and what reason that is. But at this point, we're not really at liberty to say any more other than the fact that um, we're trucking down a suspect. So. Customers shocked when they heard the news. I wouldn't go there anymore. I think it's very strange. Kind of makes you think about who's around there and who works there. It just kind of gives me a, uh, 
little eerie feeling. And so for now, the search for the suspect continues. At this point, police say they just want to talk with the man and don't know what, if any, charges will be filed in this case. That's the latest reporting live here in Pottstown. Leslie Van Arstall, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. The investigation into critical injuries for an old city Philadelphia man is now underway. He was found near his home. Valerie Levesque joins us live from Second and Market. Val? Well, Larry, the injured man was found right here in the middle of this alley. He was in bad shape, and he lives right here next door in this apartment building. And now police are trying to determine what happened to him. A 33-year-old man from Old City was critically injured in this narrow alley on Strawberry Street between 2nd and Market just after 7 this morning. The man was found a street away from his front door. Doctors say the man, Howard Safler, had a broken pelvis, both arms were shattered, and numerous other injuries consistent with a hit and run. But there was no debris like broken glass left behind to back up that theory. It's crazy. It's nuts. I mean, it's, it's kind of upsets me. Police spent the day at the man's apartment building talking to residents. I was just interviewed by the uh, detectives earlier uh, today. Uh, they were just doing a search through the uh, building. Police say another possibility is that the man could have been beaten up. He was found with his wallet in his pocket. The injured man's neighbors reacted. There's a limited amount of police presence based on the uh, person to police ratio. And uh, if it was something in the middle of the night, my, my fear would be to watch my back. Now, police are currently talking to the injured man's family to try and determine what happened here. We're live in Old City. I'm Valerie Levesque, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Val, thanks. Scary moments as emergency crews converge at the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. A battery pack exploded this afternoon at the nurse's station on the 12th floor. The hospital put an emergency response plan into action, calling in police, the fire department, and the bomb squad. The area was secured and evacuated. Authorities determined it was an isolated incident. And I hope every hospital and every building reacts the way the University of Pennsylvania Police acted today, which I thought was very professional, very thing. They cut off the elevators and did everything like precision works. Two workers were treated for minor injuries. The family of a teenage girl found dead five days ago in Northeast Philadelphia is desperately asking for help in finding what happened to her. In a continuing CBS3 I-Team investigation, Walt Hunter talked with the girl's mother and aunt. He is live right now at the Montgomery County Courthouse in Norristown. Walt? Larry, the family of Ashley Berg is pleading with anyone who has any information about what happened to their loved one to please come forward and tell it to the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office here or to Philadelphia Police. Tomorrow they will have a funeral for Ashley, but she will be buried without the family having any idea of what really happened to cause her death. Waiting is the hard part, but yeah, hoping so. But I know, I, I know in my heart that somebody's going to come for it. I, I know they will. The mother of 17-year-old Ashley Berg wears her daughter's ring, the same ring police use to help identify Ashley's body, dumped in a wooded area of the Northeast on Monday. Possibly, police say, the victim of a drug overdose. She can't fulfill her dreams, you know, she, she wanted to, she was going to graduate. Family members, along with the Montgomery County District Attorney, want to know why Ashley was apparently inside this home in Limerick, Montgomery County in the hours before her death and how her body came to be left in the woods. She was just left and they didn't care. They wonder, could their loved one possibly have been abducted or even drugged? This wasn't something that she was out to look for trouble or anything. It's just, it, this was tragically unexpected. Ashley's family hopes anyone okay. who knows what led to this tragedy will come forward. Meanwhile, they say they are taking a brief pause in their search for answers to prepare for Ashley's funeral. Putting her rest and letting her go up to heaven with God with dignity. So far, no comment from the attorney for the family who owns the home and no criminal charges filed in this case. But the investigation is continuing, so will our I-Team investigation. And we'll have the latest for you as the continued search begins to find out what happened to Ashley. Live at the Montgomery County Courthouse, Walt Hunter, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Walt. Relatives and friends of missing mother Latoya Figueroa handed out leaflets at 52nd and Market in West Philadelphia today. That's where she was reportedly last seen more than two weeks ago. The leaflets contain pictures of Latoya, who is five months pregnant. There's a $100,000 reward. A Maple Shade, New Jersey woman is accused of running a prostitution ring. The Burlington County prosecutor says over a period of three years, Michelle Plaza employed between 25 and 40 women. 
Plaza faces a laundry list of charges, and since one of the accused prostitutes is only 16, juvenile prostitution is included. An emotional protest today over controversial new t-shirts. Some say urge people not to talk to police about crime. They're going to try to give me some mumbo jumbo about some law. I'm not having it. This is serious business. I didn't talk to too many mothers who lost children. This is serious. You should be outraged. That's right. You should be outraged. CBS 3 in Center City, Philadelphia, where, as you can see, tempers ran high. The protest outside a store was organized by Men United for a Better Philadelphia and Mothers in Charge. The groups, as well as law enforcement, are angry over the shirts that feature crosshairs and the phrase, stop snitching. Police call the shirts unacceptable, saying they threaten violence against people who help people fight crime. A startling New Jersey bear attack caught on tape. A hiker shot this video as the bear boldly approached, then bit into the sleeping bag of a camp counselor. It happened in mid-July at High Point State Park in Sussex County, New Jersey. Eventually, the campers scared off the 142-pound female bear. State officials tracked her down, and she was euthanized. Instead of videotaping, you'd think you'd say, hey, wake up, right. watch out, there's a bear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, watch out, this is a nightmare for traffic today. I know, Sean the Murphy's up with traffic. Mike, your producer, came over a second and said, you got problems on the, on the Atlantic City Expressway, on the Blue Route, on the Turnpike. Then he said, happy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, ha. he's such an optimist. Right now, we're going to look at the Blue Route. This is, folks, probably heading to the Poconos. We got trouble heading to the shore. We're going to start off right here, 476 northbound. This traffic is approaching the Schuylkill Expressway. This delay stretches from the St. David's Villanova interchange all the way up to the toll plaza. A lot of traffic. Uh, folks uh, getting an early start, actually not too early, heading off to the Poconos. Let's stick with our cameras and go outside. 42 southbound, still jammed up. This uh, delay stretches from the Walt Whitman Bridge to the Atlantic City Expressway. Once you jump on the AC Expressway eastbound, heading down towards the shore, you got a line of traffic there six miles earlier accident at the Williamstown interchange has been cleared uh, but right now there's just stacked up traffic heading into South Jersey heading down to the shore let's go to the maps right now here we are northbound New Jersey Turnpike look at this delay from uh, exit 6 which is the Pennsylvania Turnpike connector all the way up to the accident scene this is past route 206 uh, two lanes getting by here in this accident in the northbound New Jersey Turnpike your best alternate to get by this is to take 295 Larry and Alicia back over to you all right, thank you, Sean. A submarine is stranded deep at sea. The sailors inside will soon run out of air. Next, the race to rescue them. Jurors in the Jackson case are reportedly writing books. Some may reveal a rift in the jury room. And Mike Tyson might be moving from the boxing ring to the world of adult film. Details when CBS 3 Eyewitness News at 6 comes right back. Mr. Opportunity here, remember me? Now, I may not be as good looking as that Accord LX, but you're really gonna like what I have to say. It's Honda clearance time. Now that means choose a beautiful coupe or sedan of your choice for a deal that'll make your head spin. Look, the final decision is yours. I'm just trying to point you in the right direction. The 2005 Honda clearance. Now you can lease an Accord LX for $199 a month for well-qualified customers at where else? Your Honda dealer. I'm Mr. Opportunity, I'm back, and I'm knocking. Oh, no thanks, I don't need anything. I did all my shopping last night online at acmemarkets.com. Ah, oh, it's easy. Then I can pick it up or have it delivered the next day. Oh, my order's here. How sweet. Fresh blueberries, strawberries, and Edie's ice cream are all buy one, get one free. All Smithfield Lean Generation pork is 50% off. Plus, Stouffer's Red Box Lean Cuisine entrees, skillets, and pizzas are 50% off. The Acme guy wants my autograph. There you go. Acmemarkets.com. You click, we deliver. Oh. Easy. How can you save 50% on beautiful carpet? Just call Empire today during our hot summer sale. We'll bring samples right to your home. Plushes, Berbers, and Frisés, all in the hottest colors and textures. And we'll install your new carpet next day. You'll save 50%, plus make no payments till 2007. So call Empire today. Give your rooms a hot new look and save 50% now. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today.
finally, an SUV that refuses to blend in. The all-new all-wheel drive Saab 97X. Distinctively designed, independently inspired. Do you have what it takes to be on David Letterman's Stupid Human Tricks? Join the open casting call at Caesars Sandbox Beach Bar in Atlantic City on August 12th at 3 p.m. Your talent could send you to The Late Show with David Letterman. Hollywood's Fat Face-Off, next E.T. Monique's Fat Chance versus Jack K's Celebrity Fit Club. She's having a breakdown. It's embarrassing. Then real stars and real scary sharks, next E.T. Tonight at 7 on CBS 3. You're watching CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Right now, it is a frightening race against time for sailors on a Russian submarine trapped deep in the Pacific Ocean. The mini-sub's propeller is caught in a fishing net 625 feet below the surface. This is just south of the Russian Kamchatka Peninsula. They reportedly have only 18 hours of oxygen remaining, but help is coming right now from 6,000 miles away. Rescuers have already left the San Diego Naval Base. The U.S. Navy is sending a robotic rescue vehicle from San Diego by plane, along with 30 naval personnel, including Navy SEALs, to dive if necessary. Also, a British robotic underwater vehicle is scheduled to reach land near the site tomorrow morning, just before the American vehicle. The Russian mini-sub, similar to this one, is used for underwater mapping missions. A Russian rescue ship is trying to tow the mini-sub to more shallow water, but so far, it's been unsuccessful. The life-or-death drama is being compared to a Russian submarine disaster five years ago. The Kursk sank in another part of the North Pacific Ocean, and all 118 sailors aboard died. The space shuttle Discovery is getting ready to return to Earth. Preparations include loading trash and broken equipment from the International Space Station. It hasn't been emptied in two years. Discovery's touchdown is slated for Monday. Heavyweight boxing champ Mike Tyson may have a future in pornography. Tyson says he's been approached about starring in an X-rated film. The offer reportedly came from representatives for porn star Jenna Jameson. Tyson has had recent financial troubles. Some say he may go through with the film for the money. The verdict was not guilty, but some jurors in the Michael Jackson case may write books that say some jurors thought otherwise. The New York Daily News reports that books will reveal at least three jurors first thought Jackson was guilty of child molestation, but then changed their minds. One book will reportedly be titled Guilty as Sin, Free as a Bird. Still have some thunderstorms moving through the area. Paul Deanna's in for Kathy or Paul. South Jersey right now under the gun with some thunderstorms. None of them severe right now, but lots of lightning. Looks like we're getting ready to play a little baseball over at Campbell's Field, where we will have a decent evening. Looks like the thunderstorms will die down around Camden by the time we throw that first pitch, and we will have some cooler weather if you plan to play baseball with your son or daughter, maybe a little softball over the weekend on Saturday or Sunday. Weekend looks great. It was hot during the week, three consecutive days at 96 degrees, but we will be cooling down as soon as tonight. Matter of fact, we're already down to 88 degrees in Center City, Philadelphia. Let's check live, make it up with three real quick. Here we go. We got some thunderstorms all the way from Newcastle County, Delaware, up through Salem County and Cumberland County, all the way to Long Beach Island. We'll zoom down first. A heavily traveled road today would be the Atlantic City Expressway, and we are picking up a lot of rainfall and even some small hail in and around the Atlantic City Expressway area. Near the Hamilton exit, looks like we'll be past the tolls. You hit the the Hamilton exit of the Atlantic State Expressway, that road right there, as if it wasn't slow going enough with thousands of people packing the roads and a couple accidents earlier today, we still have some rain over top of the expressway. And in southern Salem County right now, we're picking up some rainfall into northern Cumberland County. Vineland and Millville wouldn't be surprised over the next 15 or 20 minutes. Some thunderstorms hit you, and we may be seeing some small hail with that. With our exclusive Hail Tracker 3, the area you see in the darker shade of green, a spot that may be picking up some penny size hail even as we speak. 88 degrees in Center City, Philadelphia. The official number in Philadelphia is 90. Fourth consecutive 90 degree day but we won't get there tomorrow so thankfully the heat wave is over and check out the cooler air that's going to be moving in see the Poconos up there how about 70 degrees right now in the Poconos we're not going to hit 70 in Philadelphia tomorrow afternoon but we will be much cooler down to a high of 86 Millville 90 Cape May 90 Dover 91 great day for a barbecue tomorrow maybe just go out to the park and walk your dog take your family out there it should be an awesome weekend weather wise after a very hot very sultry week the reason why cold fronts moving in it's going to cause the beautiful weekend
and, and it is causing the thunderstorms outside right now. Very warm, soupy air over top of the Delaware Valley. On the other side of this front, warm, excuse me, warm and dry air, not hot and dry air. Those two air masses are clashing, and that's why we have the thunderstorms outside right now. Let's time it out for you. This evening, we do have the chance of a couple thunderstorms ending around midnight, and the best chance is between now and, let's say, 9 o'clock with the daytime heating. So evening and overnight thunderstorms ending by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, the front is to the south. We're on the other side of that front. So 10 to 15 degrees cooler. The heat index today felt like about 100 degrees outside. By tomorrow evening, it'll feel about 85 degrees, which is normal, but will feel a whole lot better than what we've had over the past couple days. The front will try to move a little farther up to the north on Sunday, so we'll see a little bit more in the way of cloud cover for Philadelphia and the chance of a couple showers for the Delaware beaches down toward Cape May County. Don't be surprised if you get a shower or two coming up on Sunday. Thousands of you may want to go see the Eagles play. Eagles training camp in Bethlehem, beautiful day tomorrow, 85 degrees, cooler temperatures, mostly sunny skies. Should be a great day in the Lehigh Valley. Evening thunderstorms tonight, yielding partly cloudy skies by tomorrow morning. 66 to 71 degrees, your range of overnight lows. Ah, to feel good tomorrow, 84 to 86 degrees, partly sunny skies, much cooler than what we've had over the past several days. 86 on Sunday with a little bit more in the way of cloud cover. Then a chance of late day thunderstorms, not a washout for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with highs in the upper 80s. And we will be looking at the 6 to 10 day forecast, which does show a warming trend, a warming trend back to about 90 degrees as soon as next Friday, but not the 96 that we have been enduring over the past three days. So uh, hopefully we'll keep those upper 90s away. May yeah. have to deal with a couple lower 90s. But a nice weekend. Beautiful weekend coming up. Perfect. Both days look good. All right. Yeah. Bees Luis joins us live from Eagles training camp with the injury report. Bees. Yeah, we've got a major injury to the team, and plus we talk football with this man, the middle linebacker, Jeremiah Trotter. All that coming up in sports. Hey, monster. Dr. Molly Caffrey is a well-known scientist. The Oval Office seems to think you're some kind of genius. Who spends her days preparing plans for worst-case scenarios. My job is to scare you and hopefully prepare you. But there was one she never thought would be used. Your plan's been activated. You're needed in Washington. Which plan? Threshold. The only plan that can save humankind from extinction. Just become the most important person on the planet. Threshold, CBS Fridays this fall. Oscar Huber Furniture. Service, selection, savings. It adds up to satisfaction. Help! Oh, it's our emergency to Santa. We did an accident. I can't go west front on a highway and I had no plane. I'm going to contact the police. Dispatch. This is OnStar. I'd like to report a vehicle accident with airbag deployment. Okay. Are you injured? Yes. Yeah. We're sending someone right out. Mom, it's okay. It's okay. The rest of you guys are here. You guys are super. We appreciate that, man. Please know we're here whenever you need us. OnStar is available on over 50 GM models. To learn more, visit OnStar.com. The first day is a big day. First impression of the year. I want to learn something that says math genius. I just like to be regular, kind of. I just want to look cute. You want to look like a diva, and you want to look hot, but don't let them know that you tried so hard. I just copied my friend, Nicole. My mom made me wear a tie one year. Never doing that again. I'm pretty happy if I can just open my locker. You gotta dress how you want, you know? If a girl says you look nice, you say, what? This? For the brands kids want at prices moms love, it's Marshalls. Welcome back to Meet Your Dream Boat, where the lovely Laura must choose between the final contestants, Brad, Reggie, and Gus. Laura's gravitating toward contestant number three. Is it his charm or wit or the biggest instant game in Pennsylvania lottery history, the $275 million cash extravaganza? Will he win one of the million dollar top prizes or any of the $275 million in prizes? Doesn't matter, it's a classic girl meets groundhog story. Keep on scratching. Tony, most people want to get in better shape, but they just don't have the time. Well, Stacy, what if I told you in just three 20-minute workouts, only one hour a week, you can increase your energy levels, strengthen your heart, reduce your stress, and shape all the muscles of your body, all with one quality machine? Would you be interested? Yes, I would. Well, Stacy, I have good news. Tell me more. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. Yeah, baby. You can do it. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey. 
Eagles have another broken wing. It's, it's almost like they should cancel training camp right now <laughs> just because they have a great team. Go in with the team you have. Nobody else gets hurt, Beasley. Right. Yeah, you know what? Back in my day, when we went to training camp and got in shape. These guys are in shape. The goal is just to get out unscathed, and we lost a major player today. Todd Pinkston went down. It is a season-ending injury, and, and look at his face. When you pop an Achilles, most people are screaming. That is one tough young man. We wish him the absolute best. He was the uh, deep threat on the team, allowing um, uh, Westbrook and T.O. to break underneath and catch all of those balls. And joining me now is uh, one of the stars of the team, Jeremiah Charter, and your leadership as a veteran uh, tested uh, already with the, the loss of a major player on the team. That's it. You know, anytime you have a, a guy like Pinkston go down, it's going to hurt you. But uh, we're just gonna have uh, we're gonna have to have other guys in other areas step up and uh, fill that void. And uh, we know we got to keep moving. I talked to Pinkston today. I told him I was praying for him. Hopefully, you know, surgery will go well. He come back 100 percent. And uh, you know, we'll be waiting for him next year. Now, what is it about your football team? You guys, uh, people go down. There's uh, this and that happens, but you guys just kind of plug another person in and keep going with a great positive attitude. Well, you got to have a positive attitude, attitude because you know in this sport. Things like that happen, and uh, you don't you don't want them to happen. But it's a dangerous sport, and uh, when they do, you just got to keep moving. Now, a lot of heat out there today. How are you handling the heat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually doing well. You know, I haven't. I haven't had to run down on special teams too much, so right. uh, I've been doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, all we can say right now is uh, good luck for the rest of the season, and uh, we appreciate everything that you do for the team, all your leadership. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> good luck with everything. I appreciate all right. it, man. All right, all right Jeremiah mean. Trotter, the uh, leader of this defense, middle linebacker, the guy who really gets them in the great positions that uh, you see this great defense get into Sunday in and Sunday out. Uh, live from Lehigh, Eagles camp. I'm Beasley Reese now back to the studio. I like his hat. Yeah, he made all yeah, the nice difference hat. last year. He's a, he's a <laughs> runner hunter. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Still ahead, art by artwork for a good cause. A hip-hop artist helps Philadelphia raise awareness of a deadly disease. We'll be right back. Internet savings banks, they promise you more money, but can they do it? Don't miss our Consumer Alert, tonight on the CBS Evening News with Bob Sheeper. Experience you can trust. Chevy's proud to be the number one selling passenger car brand in America. And we have the most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. We've always broken the rules. Now we're rewriting them with the Chevy employee discount for everyone. You pay what we pay, not a cent more. We're continuing the Chevy employee discount for everyone. Get employee pricing on almost every 05 Chevy vehicle. The Chevy employee discount for everyone in September 6th. There's a place in the heart of the new Atlantic City with the hottest gambling action in the marina. Premier dining. And nightlife that sizzles with all the luxury and excitement you expect from the ultimate gambling getaway. Harris Atlantic City, a whole new experience is here. Famous. The winning lottery numbers are three, three, seventeen, seventeen, forty, forty. I won! 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 Life comes at you fast. Am I covered? Oh yeah, you're covered. Oh yeah. When the unexpected happens, Nationwide is there with the right solutions and advice. Nationwide is on your side. Linda, don't you just love being a mom? No, I don't. It's been three months, and I cry more than the baby does. I can't eat or sleep. I have these terrible thoughts. I don't deserve to be a mother. Linda? Yeah. It's great. Postpartum depression is treatable, but first you have to ask for help. I did, and so can you. Don't go through it alone. 
Coming up tonight on CBS 3, Veronica Mars at 8, followed by The Cut at 9, and Numbers at 10. Then on CBS 3, Eyewitness News at 11. Has your dog been packing on the pounds lately? <laughs> it may be time for a diet for your dog. It's worked for, no, well, not that one, but it's worked for <laughs> some, there you go, these fairy friends. Tonight, Stephanie <laughs> Abrams will show you how to help your pet get rid of that extra weight. Mm. A Philadelphia block has been transformed into an artist canvas with a message. They're working on a new mural at 12th and St. James in Center City for the No HIV AIDS Awareness Campaign. The street art will be featured in public service announcements. The award-winning project is a team effort from the Kaiser Family Foundation and Viacom, CBS3's parent company. No. What do you know about the weather, Paul? A couple of thunderstorms in South Jersey right now. Not severe, but lots of lightning, lots of rain moving through southeastern Burlington County, southern Newcastle County, and northern Cumberland County. Vineland and Millville up next on these thunderstorms. That's Eyewitness News at 6. I'm Larry Menti. And I'm Alicia Lane. The CBS Evening News with Bob Schieffer is next. For Paul Diano, Sean Murphy, Beasley Reese, who's at camp, thanks for watching. Be sure to join us tonight at 11 o'clock. See you then. Good evening, I'm Harry Smith. The race is on tonight to save the crew of a stranded Russian 